or our front yard barbecue. You can just stay right there. Tell them, Todd, to stay right there. They're fine. Chief Meteorologist Todd Howell joining us, getting ready to go into surgery. <laughs> Good afternoon, Todd. You can't see me laughing with these doggone me. No, I'm teasing. I cannot wait till we're out of this mode because uh, even on live TV, we know we're trying to keep our distance, our mask on. You know the drill, right? Yeah, and it makes it makes it difficult sometimes because uh, you know we want to be close and do our normal thing, but we're trying to keep our distance. So uh, anyway, that's what's going on. I've got Kristen Johnson behind me. She is the winner of this week's third annual front yard barbecue. We're in the front yard, not the backyard, but we've got a we're on a cul-de-sac here where you've got a beautiful place and home. We got Buddy's Barbecue, and uh, we're in Northeast Knox County, just off Tazewell Pike. So Kristen. We're going to send the mic your way. Now, I love this. You've, you're talking about stay-at-home moms. I think some nurses, some stay-at-home moms, yeah. they've been taking care of these kids for a long time. Kids have not been in school. You know, I'm sure that's been very hard for them. So talk a little bit about that. And there's an interesting dynamic with 16 kids. Talk about how many out of those 16 are boys and girls. I, okay. All right, so um, I wrote about the neighborhood moms. I used to be a stay-at-home mom, and I remember how – exhausting it was to take care of the kiddos all day, cook dinner, and um, do all of that 24-7. So when I wrote in, I was talking about all the moms staying home since spring break, break and the pandemic and just being exhausted. I live in a cul-de-sac with 16 children and 15 of Bless them- Bless your heart. <laughs> and 15 of them are boys. Wait a minute, say that one more time, out of 16. 15 of them are little boys. Wow. Yes. Wow. All right, we're going to we're going to be talking and showing the uh, the the queen or the princess or however we want to say it the the one lone girl out of 16 and uh, you know I've seen them playing baseball and uh, yeah any any cracked windows or anything I mean I have all boys so I'm just going to take a guess that uh, how's how's property doing is it okay with all the boys uh, playing here? there has been breakage but you know <laughs> parents take care of it um, there's been a lot of blood there's been a lot of scraped knees you'll hear a cry and somebody's out here crashed on their bike and just screaming and yeah yeah okay. there's a whole lot of weird things with all these boys well <laughs> we've raised four boys and uh, I can vouch for a lot of that. That just uh, certainly happens. Well, hey, Kristen, we're going to be talking a lot more. You ready for some barbecue? I am very ready for some Buddy's Barbecue. Absolutely. We've got Sandy and Sonia behind me ready to go. Y'all ready to have uh, deliver the barbecue, right, Sandy? All righty. Well, uh, stay tuned. I do hear some thunder behind me. We're keeping an eye on storms across North uh, Knox County up into Anderson Campbell counties, and we'll have much more on about that. And uh, we're going to try to keep our distance and somehow we're going to try to play a little baseball. I don't know. I may be pitching. You know, I'll just be on the mound by myself. What do you think, Russell? Give me some tips. Point well, A, most pitchers are on the mound by themselves. And B, <laughs> that sounds like my kind of neighborhood. <laughs> if there's two pitchers on the mound, we got a problem. What, <laughs> we got an issue. And, uh, and hopefully we don't have a rain out like uh, last night. I digress. Oh, right. uh, uh, it's good. Thank you for that clarification yeah no problem means i'm not gonna i'm not gonna help all right we'll talk to you in a little bit Todd. thanks